Hey, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to be repainting this thrifted basket that I got a while back. It's really cute. It's part of my little cottage core desk area and I thought I would recover the top using these paint pens from Artistro. You can use it on various surfaces and I've never actually used paint pens for projects so this will be fun to try out. It looks like it's got a great color selection. I really like that it's got a lot of bright colors to choose from. I'll be repainting the surface first to give it a background color. I'm using this artist loft color that I really like and just covering up the bottom portion so I can paint over it. It's the next day and I've actually sketched out a drawing of two flowers based on this drawing that I did back in college, way back in the day, and I'm going to be using that as a reference. I tried out a few markers ahead of time just to see which colors I wanted to use. I've got these chosen, and then I did try out a couple markers that didn't actually work out. They, I just kept shaking them and they just would not give me any color. And then just to try out some of the other colors in the box randomly to see if they worked. Some of them ended up being really dry. The metallics were really nice, so an opaque. But you can see that this purple was very dry no matter how much I shook it. And you can see the indentations in the paper. And I'm going in with the first color. I have to be honest, I'm a little nervous with how this is going to turn out. I've never really sketched live on camera before, so this is going to be an experiment. And marker looks like it's just drying out a little bit um it could be that i used it on an already painted surface but really trying to fill it in with some color and had to give it quite a bit of shaking in between uh, me trying to use the markers and coloring it in the green i used for the stem was really nice very opaque i find that the darker colors really come out nicely whereas the lighter colors tend to be a little bit streakier and require a couple coats. And so far, so good. There was something very satisfying about using the white marker though, going in with some detail here. And the white marker was very opaque, so that came out really nicely and smoothly. I had no problems with that. Same with the blue marker, that was such a great color to use to start really adding in some of the outlining and detail. I really enjoyed using this color as well. I have no problems with this one. So as you can see, the flowers are really starting to take shape now. The flower on the left is really starting to look nice. I'm not sure what's going on with the flower on the right. It looks a little bit more realistic uh, in the reference photo and not so much on the basket, but we'll see how this goes. I finally got this color to work after much shaking and pressing the nib into the paper and I'm going in with a little bit more shading. Unfortunately, you can't really see it on camera, but uh, in person I can kind of see the variation. And now I'm going in with more white. There's going to be a lot of just me going in, uh, taking turns with the white and the blues as I let some of it dry. These markers are quick drying, so for the most part a lot of it did, but I think where I did layer a little bit more it did need a little bit of an extra moment to dry.
was a little hesitant in using the black marker, but I'm very glad I did. It ended up giving it a lot more dimension, and because these are extra fine tip markers, I was really able to go in and give it some really fine detailing. So I'm actually very glad that the tips were so fine for just that reason. So here I'm just finishing up with some last minute details and so this marker ended up drying on me, the one that originally didn't work and this one dried on me halfway but some of the colors that I did use uh, worked out pretty well for the project that I wanted and I'm really happy with the results. Thank you so much for watching.